Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. So in today's video, I thought I would do a quick roundup of all the Battlefield 6 news and leaks that we've all been discussing this week. They're starting to come thick and fast now, and honestly, I can barely keep up with them. But I suppose that's a good sign that we'll be getting some information soon. We're going to start off with the two drawings of the teaser trailer from Tom Henderson that I covered in my last video and some of the new information that's been discovered there. And then we'll be talking next gen consoles, new weather events for Battlefield 6 and finishing up with a possible teaser release date. Before we jump in, be sure to pop by our live stream sometime over at twitch.tv slash ghostgaminggg. I stream a few times a week and I always love chatting to you guys and playing a few rounds of BF4 with you. You can always find the schedule for any given week in the Discord and you know you guys coming by and watching is honestly one of the best ways that you can support the channel, so thank you. So to begin with, you'll probably be familiar with these two images that Tom Henderson, the infamous leaker, drew of the upcoming Battlefield teaser trailer that he has presumably seen for himself. If you want to check out a full breakdown of those images, you can click the eye in the corner and that'll take you to a full video on that. But as we were looking at these, it seems I was mistaken about one thing, and that is the vehicle present in this first person perspective. So initially I thought it looked like an attack helicopter cockpit, and countless of you pointed this out to me as well, saying that it looks a lot more like the US Viper attack heli than it does a jet. But Tom had stated on Twitter that this was a hovering jet. However, now it seems that he was simply mistaken, and this was indeed a hovering Apache helicopter. So, well done anybody who guessed that in the comments. In addition, the location of this trailer has now been pinpointed as the Tanegashima Space Center in Japan. As you can see from these Google Maps images, the landscape matches pretty well with what Tom has drawn, and of course, there happens to be a space center there. So for me, that gives even more credibility to Tom's drawings. He says he's now 100% confident that the trailer will take place at this space center. It was also pointed out that the rocket in these drawings, first thought to be a Falcon 9, is in fact a Japanese H-2A, which has interestingly been stripped of its yellow paint, its Japanese flag, and its name. I wonder if that's because another faction has taken over this part of Japan. Moving on, let's talk gaming platforms. It's pretty much a given that the next Battlefield game will be on PC, but the discussion about whether or not it will make the cut for past-gen consoles is still ongoing. With the rumoured increase in player base, building destruction and higher visual fidelity, it would make more sense to gear this game towards the current gen, that being the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Unfortunately though, Due to this worldwide lack of semiconductors, that's actually made getting your hands on one of these consoles close to impossible. But according to Tom, he says he has yet to hear anything concrete that Battlefield 6 will come to past gen consoles, which probably indicates that it won't. So possibly some sad news there for past gen gamers. So with Japan being the setting for at least one map in the game it seems, does that mean they're going to be a playable faction? Well, not according to Mr. Henderson. He says the game plot is the USA versus Russia, and indeed in his drawings, we do see a US attack helicopter along with a bunch of Osprey aircraft that are also made in the US of A. So where does Japan fit in then? Well, according to him, you play as specialist units from fallen nations. So all other nations are playable in some capacity, Perhaps Russia are the big baddies here and they've taken over the world to some degree and decided to set up camp in Japan. Next up, the one and only Dr. Disrespect spoke out during one of his live streams saying, I'm excited for Battlefield's Battle Royale. Firestorm was like a pre 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 bare bones alpha. Let's get something out there. We won't support it at all and that's exactly what they did. I have a feeling that they're going to really bring it for this next Battlefield and it's going to be fast and explosive. I don't know how much influence vehicles will have on the fights, but they do a really good job on bigger maps on how they balance some of that out. So this prompted many people to believe that this guy knows more than he's letting on about the game and further drives home the probability of a battle royale mode for Battlefield 6. 
In addition to that, many of the bigger YouTubers who cover Battlefield and have normally covered leaks in the past strangely haven't been covering them at all these days. So that adds to the rumour that perhaps there are some special people out there who know a bit more than they're letting on. Now, as many have noted, it looks like large weather events are going to be a big feature of Battlefield this year. In Tom's drawings, we've already seen storms and tornadoes, but most recently, it looks like there's going to be a snowy map with an avalanche set to join the weather events, as he tweeted out this gif as a little teaser. And lastly, I would like to look at community predictions for the reveal trailer date. If we take the last two Battlefield games for reference here, Battlefield 1 was revealed on the 6th of May, while Battlefield 5 was first teased on the 23rd of May. Then I think May will definitely be the month. However, Battlefield YouTuber Lossy recently made an interesting prediction of his own that I found quite intriguing. And if you want to see his full video, I will link that for you down below. But basically he shows how in the Battlefield 5 reveal trailer, there's a scene at the end where the footage cuts from a third person perspective to first person and the soldier gets hit by an incoming rocket and their health drops to 23, as in the 23rd of May, the date of the trailer. Now if we go back to the first person perspective footage of Tom's drawing, which according to him by the way, is the only three seconds of first person perspective that you see in the entire trailer, in the bottom right corner where the icons are, most of it looks a bit random and made up, but he has purposefully put in the numbers 0205, which could indicate the 2nd of May. Now, as Lossy said himself, this is honestly quite far-fetched and a bit of a tinfoil hat moment, as he put it. You know, it could just also be that this guy has heat-seeking missiles equipped in the heli, especially since we see the lock-on icon uh, around the jet on screen, and he has two missiles ready to fire and five in reserve. But in all honesty, I really hope that he's right, because I don't know about you guys, but I really cannot wait much longer. Just to finish off here, all of the Battlefield games are currently on sale on Steam at a 75% discount or so. Fantastic timing to pick them up now if you've been waiting for a sale. I also think this could be another good indication that we're about to see a reveal of the game fairly soon, since once the next game is revealed, a lot of people will simply wait for that game instead of purchasing an older Battlefield title. Those sales last until the 26th of April, so get them while you can. So there are all of the leaky Battlefield 6 things we've been talking about this week. I think it's going to be interesting to see what we get next week as we get closer and closer to the inevitable trailer drop. Thank you guys ever so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button as it gives the channel a big help with the dreaded YouTube algorithm. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I will be covering Battlefield 6 in a big way later this year and I just can't wait to get started, honestly. I'm like an excited child. Have a fantastic day, guys, and see you in the next video.